So I got a chance to watch this video of George Floyd being murdered on the streets of Minnesota. Yeah, murdered. Um, and we have an obligation as good officers to speak out against the bad. We have an obligation and we owe it to the public and to the other officers in this country that are out here actually trying to do good, actually trying to protect and serve with honor. And if you stay quiet and don't speak out against it because you're fear of judgment, all right, you're complicit in the behavior, the disgusting behavior. And this video is, it, if you haven't seen it, and I'm sure most people have now, it's disgusting. And the officer that stood by and just watched and let it happen, you're just as guilty. Because you also have an obligation to protect that individual that you're arresting. It's time that we take these bad officers and speak out against them and start holding them accountable and hold them to the same laws that we, we expect citizens to abide by. They're not above it, and it's time that good officers start speaking out and stopping it. So I got a chance. I've seen the video of George Floyd's murder. That's what I believe it was, was murder by a police officer, and I'm not okay with that. I am not okay with somebody in my profession doing something like that to another human being. The man goes unconscious and they don't even provide CPR or aid to him. They continue to kneel on him. That is not okay. And if you as a police officer can watch that video and not think something's wrong, you are part of this problem. You are part of the problem that we face every single day trying to weed out the bad apples because you don't admit when somebody did something wrong simply because you're blinded by the police officer family. George Floyd's family, I'm sorry, this was not okay. And I will do everything in my power to ensure that justice is served. I'm sorry. I've been a cop for 23 years. And watching the video of Mr. Floyd being pinned to the ground was one of the worst things I've seen. His fellow officers stood there, they did nothing. Y'all took an oath, man, the same oath that 800,000 of us have taken to serve and protect our communities. Officers like this tarnish the badge. They tarnish the oath. We have to go out here and work harder to repair those relationships with our communities across the entire U.S. Because it doesn't just affect one community, it affects all of them. I hope y'all are charged accordingly. To the Floyd family, I am sorry for your loss. And to my Blue family, we can't let this happen anymore. Let's talk things that happened in Minneapolis, cop standpoint, right? I am disgusted with the things that happened in Minneapolis. Pure, plain, blank. Things could have went way different. At the end of the day, let's talk facts. The guy is on the ground. He's laying on his stomach. He have handcuffs on. It's four of y'all, one of him. Four of y'all, one of him. Who has control of this situation? It's not much one person could do against four people. Now let's get deeper, right? As an officer, you are a first responder, right? So if in the midst of you trying to gain compliance, someone is hurt, you have to render aid. So somebody's saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. You don't think to yourself and say, oh my gosh, this guy can't breathe. He might die. Let me render aid, right? Another point, officers, other officers, if you're going to be an officer that's going to stand there and not help and not help when things go wrong, Come on, like you don't see that? That's the reason I got behind this badge, right? Because I want them officers that's afraid to step up, I want to be the one to step up. If I see wrong happening, wrong is not happening in my presence, right? I'm going to check it, and that's period.